Cast and Kitten. Welcome to Perry Lyons, New York City Celebrity Psychic, with each post my name and the name of the show. Uh, it can be your name, too. I'm not picky. Anyway, great to see you. Um, I'm dressed like a French person in honor of Bastille Day, which was actually last week, but uh, I'm a tardy French person. How's that? Anyway, um, I always love feeling your wonderful vibrations coming over the frequency. So, as we always do, uh, we're going to start off with a little tarot weather for the week. This is a tarot bag. And I like to just pick three cards, and it often just kind of predicts the weather, well, most of the time, uh, predicts the sort of psychic weather for the week. So let's see what we've got here. Ooh, a lot of people might be moving. Uh, this is this is a card that talks about two things, um, and it talks them about them interminably at parties, so you always like tell them that you have to go meet somebody and walk away. But um, this, this card is, whenever you see a five on a tarot card, um, and just on a tarot card, not, you don't have to be afraid of fives in real life. They would hurt you. Um, but a five uh, pentacles means that either you're moving, which for some reason is always meant, or it might mean that you're living in a little scarcity consciousness which is a slightly outdated sort of manifesting term. But what a scarcity consciousness is, is you see how these people are, they're sort of really into being, into playing that whole I'm poor role. Uh, I do not blame poor people for being poor. I have been one of them often, possibly two of them. Uh, But they're passing by, there's a lit church, and inside the church, There is a beautiful banquet and people ready to take care of them. And sometimes this card can mean that this might be a good time to look at where in your life you're not receiving the bounty that your loving friends and family and admirers want to give you. Or maybe you think poverty is noble. It isn't. Stop that. Um, But it often also can presage a move. So one of those two things. So, (laughs) and if you like where you live, too bad. You're going to have to move anyway. Um, so, but it might be a good week to sort of look at your feelings about money and send it to me if you're uncomfortable with it. Um, but see where you confuse like poverty and pureness because they ain't the same thing. All right. Next up, we have the fabulous ladies and gentlemen, the hanged men. And I'm never going to get holding this up right. Okay, there. Uh, and the hanged man is a, somebody who is sacrificing something in order to be happy or be good. So perhaps this is the week that you're finally giving up, like smoking bananas. Or this is the week that you're finally going to give up being in a bad mood because it's no fun. Um, it's a change that somebody is making for the better. And it stays. So congratulations on giving up smoking bananas. Ah, I wasn't expecting this one. Um, Interesting. So this one is the, it's the five again with the fives, unless it's a four. It's a four, never mind. Um, I'm a psychic. If if math was my specialty, I'd be a physicist. Um, Although I kind of am. Uh, This guy is, he's well off. He's got a crown. He's got a fur wrap. He's wearing some groovy red threads. However, he is taking his riches a little too seriously. Do not look at my manicure, people at home. Um, What this means is maybe there's an area in your life where, again, you're not open to receiving the bounty that is there for you. Um, Or perhaps you could be a little more spiritually or emotionally generous or uh, financially generous. Um, See my previous statement about sending me all your money. Um, Sorry, kidding. Uh, So it's an interesting week. There have been a a bunch of solar eclipses, which I'm sorry, uh, there's been a solar and a lunar eclipse, which means people have been going through stuff. A lot of breakups, but breakups that needed to happen. I don't know about you, but I'm seeing a lot of breakups. 
And usually they're really for the best. And I'm just seeing a lot of people making really necessary changes. So don't worry. These are not scoldy cards. They're not cards saying like, you're not doing this enough. These cards are saying like, hey, you know, the universe wants you to have more prosperity and abundance. So maybe look at some of your beliefs about that. Um, Quickly, uh, on that subject, and then we'll get to the wonderful first caller. Hello, wonderful first caller. Do you mind being patient for one more sec? Are you there? Oh, hi, love. Okay, thank you. Um, oh, I should probably turn this up. So, one thing you hear people say a lot, well, maybe you don't hear them hear it, but you'll hear them say it occasionally, is that it is easier for a camel to enter the eye of a needle than for a rich man to enter the kingdom of heaven. Here's an interesting thing about that. Back in the old days, and Jerusalem had nothing but old days, um, Jerusalem was a walled city. And in the walled city, there were these different gates that you had to go through. This is the international sign for gate. If you move your eyes like that too. Um, And in order to get through the gate, and the gates all had different names, uh, one of them was called the Eye of the Needle. Don't ask. It was a long time ago. Um, so to get through the gate, which was very, very sort of short, um, a camel had to have its burdens taken off its back, and it had to get on its knees because camels can walk on their knees. Little known fact. My boyfriend lived in the Middle East. Apparently, this is true. Although he knows a little too much about camels. Anyway, um, so... So we think like that it means it's impossible for a rich person to get into heaven. No, it just means that in order to, quote, get into heaven, unquote, you should take off your burdens and, hey, get in your knees. Um, It's worked for me. So anyway, there you go. Yet another anti-prosperity myth exploded. Uh, So I'm so happy you guys are here. Hello, my dear. Thank you for being so patient. How are you today? Oh, you're welcome. Good, and yourself? I'm great, thank you. Is it Susan with an S? I have a friend yes. who's Susan with a Z. Okay, uh, cool. And where are you calling from, my love? I am calling from Texas. Oh, it's very pretty. Uh, rather hot <laughs> right, <laughs> right now, but yeah, pretty. Yeah, very hot. Uh, yeah, that's okay. You guys are used to it. Here, here in Maryland, yeah. not so much. Uh, and I like to, to connect with people by asking what their birth date is, uh, which I'll ask in French today because, so, um, when is votre anniversaire? What day is your birthday? Um, November 27th. Ooh, Sagittarius. We love those. Yes, um, very much. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I can, I can tell already. It's a good thing. Um. <laughs> <laughs> so let's see. You know, actually, things are starting to go a little better for you these days. Um, and I think, all right, you know what? Did you tell me a specific question? Because you are a woman of many qualities. And there. Well, thank you. Um, Welcome. I have two sisters that I'm very concerned about. And I'm. Um, because they're like 2,500 miles away from me, um, I can't help them. I can't do anything, and I'm just really concerned about them. We, One of them is let me just give you a little so, back, yeah. back story here. We lost um, our parents last year. They died within six weeks apart. Oh, God. Okay, so yeah, and we're so sorry. pretty close. There's five, yeah. yeah, there's five of us all together, but I'm really concerned about my sisters. And I can see I've been why. Trying to help yeah. them, but I don't know. Twenty five hundred miles away. Uh, so yeah. they live more more in the east, or they're in the ocean. Or yeah, they're where, on the where east are coast. They? They're on the east coast. Okay, you want me to go pop in and check in on them? I, I'll be back in like twenty minutes. Um, no, I'm I'm only I'm only joking because I'm not as worried about them as you are, and I think it's oh. lovely that you're worried about them. 
Uh, I think one of them is ill, physically ill, yes. and one of them has emotional issues. Is that correct? Correct. Yeah. They're both lovely people. Um, but they're, it's interesting because um, as a fellow warrior and a fellow one of five kids, are you the, no, you're not the youngest. You're the, uh, not the next youngest. Okay, I give up. Are you the second? Yeah, I'm oldest? in the middle. I'm yeah, okay. smack dab in the middle. <laughs> yeah, having a hard time figuring out the middle one there. I'm like second up, second down, but yeah, you're the middle. Um, <laughs> cool. Uh, you're also the only Sagittarius, aside from maybe your dad. Correct. But, uh, yeah. Um, okay. Can you quickly tell me their birthdays? Um, Please. My older one is mm. July 21st. My younger one is okay. April 10th. All right. Well, here's some advice. Uh, if you're going to worry about anybody, Leos and Aries are the people you should worry least about <laughs> because okay. they, they tend to be really resilient. I actually think even though it feels like you might think that your sister with a physical illness doesn't have that long, she has much longer than you think. Um, there's okay. going to be, it's funny because I was thinking about miracles today and how often they happen. And I was, I was sitting there thinking about miracles in the garden. My boyfriend said, oh my gosh, come over here. There's a butterfly emerging from a chrysalis, which is a miracle. So um, there's, there's some miracle there's stuff going, going on with her. Yeah. Yeah. Well, actually, it's interesting. The one who's not physically ill needs it more than the one who is. Because um, the one who is, is, she may not... She's actually much physically stronger than she looks. The women in your family, okay. uh, some of them can look like, you know, they got those big blue green eyes, bat, bat, bat. Uh, and they look very kind of, they're tough, man. <laughs> you come from tough, tough women. I mean, strong yeah, in a good way. Both yeah. my parents uh, were very tough. Yeah. But your mother was still very feminine and, and lovely. And I love your, they're right here. So uh, they uh. have not. Boy, are they ever. I am digging your dad, man. Your, your father is, you got lovely parents. They're really good people. And Thank you. They were very good people. Yeah. And uh, what's really nice is you appreciated them. And that made them incredibly happy. Do you know how many people I get here whining about their parents? I'm like, those people gave you life. Get over it. Um, sorry for future callers. You can whine about your parents. But um, you don't whine about your parents. You're appreciative of how great they were. Let me just look quickly at your, yeah, the sister who, one of your sisters is a depressive and she might be slightly bipolar. She also might want okay. to go back and get a second opinion from a psychiatrist because she's somebody who I think being on antidepressants would really help like that. It's speaking of miracles. Um, and your other sister has a really nice family, it looks like. Um, well, okay, one of her kids, not so much, but. Uh, is she, I'm just going to ask this one. Is she married? Neither one of them are. Really? Well, she's got yeah. either a male friend she's not telling you about or, um, cause she's got a lot of people around her who, who love and support her. And that's what she needs. She's a very community kind of person. Uh, the other one just, I think has to get maybe a, a uh, second opinion from a doctor. And you know okay. that antidepressants aren't drugs. They're just amino acids like in milk. But um, that's okay. actually much more fixable than you think. Uh, I, I wouldn't okay. worry so much, but I would also check out like Cheapo Air uh, is a really good cheap airline. Yeah. Or Amtrak has big sales. Um, you're welcome to come stay with us here in Annapolis if you want. <laughs> or in uh, it's a nice time to visit. <laughs> uh, write me and I'll tell you some places to go. You know what? I'm not just saying this to make you feel good. Um, I'm saying this because I mean it. Your physically ill sister has a much longer time and a much healthier time than she thinks or than you think. And your other sister, she also needs to be distracted, the one with the depression issues. Uh, she needs 
an interest. And she's like, what? What? She's what? Were you going to say something? She needs an interest. No, I was. What? what? I didn't hear you. Oh, I said your other sister, the depressed one, needs an interest of some kind. She's a little too... She needs to expand her, her view of life. They're both going to be fine. But you're such a peach for worrying about other people. All right, my love. I got to take the next caller. Susan, thank you so thank much. You. And we, let me know thank what you. happens, okay? Okay. Thank you. All right. Be good. Thank you. Yeah. Bye-bye. Hi. Who's next? Oh. Hello. Oh, hi, Mary. Hello. Uh, hi. How are you? Hi. Where are you calling from? I'm, I'm okay. I've just been going through a very, very tough time. Um, yeah. yeah. I um, yeah. I just need some answers about a few things that I've been dealing with for a very long time. And, um, it's, uh, it, you know, the retrograde is bringing out a lot of emotions for me. Mm. And um, I just needed to clarify a few things that's been bothering me for to help you. A, a few years now. Oh, well, I'll talk fast then. Um, you know okay. what? If you're, I'm, I just need to plug my iPad in because the battery keeps draining. So I'm listening. Okay. I'm just going to plug this in because last, <laughs> forgive, uh, forgive the roots of my supposedly blonde hair. Okay. And, oops, one second. Sorry. So uh, okay. while I'm doing this, tell me your, tell me your birthday, Angel. And I'm going to have to, what day is your it's, birthday? Um, December 19th, 1982. Oh, we're having an all Sagittarius show. Woohoo! Okay. Um, well, you know what? I'm just going to see if we get through. Okay. I'll talk best. Um, and do you mind telling me what year you were born? I'll immediately forget it. 1982. Okay. Oh, you have a very young spirit. Um, I'm finding a lot of my clients born in that year are going through a tough time, but they're coming out of it around now. By December, you're going to find, actually by October, you're going to find that stuff is really getting better. Uh, looks like a combination of health problems, work problems, money problems. I'm just going to crawl up in a fetal position, you poor kid, and boy problems or girl problems or well, llama problems. Um, let me look at my cards because I'm I'm so upset for you that I think I just dropped them. Um, here we go. Oh my God. Okay, my darling. Uh, one thing I can tell you, and ask anybody who's called in because I'm a, I'm I'm goofy, but I'm accurate. Um, okay, this is really good. Whenever you get an ace in tarot, it's like poker. You know, um, the ace of pentacles is the beginning of a whole new cycle. It's this one. Uh, here, there. That's right in front of my face. Pentacles, you see the hand coming out of the sky? That is yeah. sort of a miraculous and unforeseen intervention in your life. And I've had it happen to me. It'll happen to you. Uh, and it's going to happen probably within the next month, maybe three weeks. The pentacles mean that you will have a solid place to live. You will have some money and i'm not just making this up i'm telling you the truth some of this is going to be through a, a male helper he might not be a boyfriend but he's somebody he might be somebody who's in the business of helping but he's a good man uh and very generous and helpful because you haven't been getting the help you need you're actually entitled to a lot more um sort of benefits and stuff than, than you're getting right now. And I know you want to work and that's going to happen. Um, the page of swords means that this is going to come. You're going to find out about this through either phone call, a letter, email, but some form of communication. And it also means this card upside down is great. This is another five card. We talked about this earlier. This means right side up, this card kind of blows because right side up, it's like somebody who has just been fighting and fighting and fighting. Upside down, it means that the time for them to fight is at an end. They don't have to. Um, they've outlasted their enemies. They've outlasted their problems because sooner or later, things get better. You're a good person. 
You really are. I can tell that you have a lot of talent and too. You're very empathetic. You'd make a great, you know, you're still, you're still a baby too. You can, you can go back to school. You can make a great like physician's assistant. You're very healing. People have told you that before. Yeah, I help others now. You, I help others now. I quit my job to help others. I had two oh, jobs. Right. I quit my job to help other people. And, I, oh, and it's just been a hard road for me. I haven't seen my mother in 12 years. I needed, oh. I lived in New Zealand half my life. I need to know if I'm going to see her before yes. she passes again. I haven't seen her in 12 years. Before she passes, I don't want anything to happen to her, and I'm over here. And I can't oh, get honey. home to her. Oh, honey. <laughs> and that's, uh, is she in Christchurch? No, she is in um, Cable Bay, New Zealand, way up top of the um, country. Oh, way up top. She's up past yeah, Bunger and, um, yeah. yeah, Yeah, it's beautiful. She just won't come home. Yeah. Her husband passed two years ago, and I've just been really, I haven't, I haven't had my mom oh. for years, even before that. Oh, so honey. I just... Oh, and then I, have, I have another question about my, my grandmother who passed while I was in New Zealand and I was close to her, so close, and I never got to say goodbye. And it, her oh. name is Mary Jane, and she oh. was a, a lot of my life, and it destroyed me mentally to not be able to, to talk to her. Sweetheart. And I feel like her presence oh, around me, so oh. I just. Oh. 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 oh, is her presence around you? Oh, yeah. Um, oh boy, she knows, you know, was, did she have a name like Clara, like a two syllable, kind of an old fashioned name? It's not Clara, but what was her first name? Her, her first name was Mary and her middle okay. name was Jane. Okay. Uh, I think she had a grandmother named Clara cause that, that's not a name I think of myself. Okay. Um, let me talk about Mary for a second because you, you are going to see your mom. Your mom is depressed. Um, and I know you've told her that you need her and she will find the wherewithal to come here or after December, you're going to figure out a way to get over there. Um, contact me privately. I'll give you the number of a couple of, you can, do, you can do courier services. You can do, there are ways to fly very cheaply. So yeah. you can do that. And I think December Besides, it's nice to have a hot Christmas. And New Zealand's so beautiful. It is. My uh, birthday, right? And I love to right. be able to go to the beach for yeah. my birthday. Oh, yeah, right. Of course. Um, well, yeah. you are, by then, things are going to be a lot better. I would ask you to start taking care of yourself um, again, because I think it's so beautiful that you take care of other people and you're such such a Sagittarius. You probably can't lie either, can you? I bet you can't. No. Um, no, I'm the honest, honest person I know. And it gets oh, me yeah. a lot of trouble sometimes <laughs> just being honest. Yeah. I, I believe the word's oh, honest to a fault. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> um, can it, do you have very a very sort of uh, oval face and very pale skin? Like very very good skin? Because so, I'm seeing you as a very yeah, good skin, very but pretty. I'm actually, I'm actually Italian. I'm Italian and American Indian, so okay. I can very easily. <laughs> um, well, you're very, you're very smooth skin. Pale, well, pale olive. You know, I'm olive skinned. I'm pale, uh, but you have, you have a lovely face, a very old fashioned, pretty, like romantic face. I've got 60 seconds, so I'm going to tell you this really fast, and then get in touch with me on my Facebook page, and I'll give you a free 15 minutes. Your um, okay. Mary is Mary is very close to you. She wouldn't have known if you were there when she was passing anyway, because she wasn't really. Uh, present the last few days. Uh, she's very much with you because you guys are a lot alike. You're sort of opposites, but alike. I don't quite know how to. Oh, she was yeah. a bit of a card player, too. Um, oh, she was. You had... She was. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I don't know was a card shark. I love her. And she had really good candy and sweets. Um, she's right there, babe. She was in interesting because she wasn't technically beautiful but she was beautiful she was very she really oh, she, had something I know, she, she was, was the most beautiful yeah. person ever yeah but she it's almost like what made her beautiful aside from the fact that she was physically beautiful she had so much charisma and such a great personality and a big heart and she was the center of the neighborhood growing up